hey guys welcome back to another video today so we're going to be making this color combined bustier top that has this kind of you know i don't know if it's cape effect i don't know what i'm going to call it at one side so here is the pattern okay i have my pattern in fold like two like so because you'll be needing like so as you can see the cape is only on one side not on both sides so I went ahead to measure, I'll be folding it back into two because whatever you do to this side is going to appear on the other side. I've marked my underboss, which is 12 inches, and I'm going to have to use a ruler to draw that in. I'm kind of, this paper is thicker like than the normal pattern paper, so I'm kind of drawing so hard so that it appears on the other side. And tala, this is what it looks like. So I'll go ahead now to check the measurement that I'll be using also for my sleeve. So I'm going ahead to attach my sleeve like so. The very center of my sleeve to the center of the shoulder like so. And I'm just going to make sure everything lays down flat, okay? So I left this at the top part of the screen so you understand everything that I'm doing. So I'm going ahead now to mark my bust apart measurements just so I'm in line when I'm drawing this very particular design, okay? I'm, I'm in line when I'm drawing this very particular design. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to have to join my bust apart measurements and I'm kind of trying to check this design where it should fit in because there's a place where you put this design and by the time you sew up your bustier and everything, you find that the cape is not going to fit in perfectly. So you have to kind of mind where you're drawing just follow exactly what i am doing and this is what i'm doing and this is what i arrived at so i'm just trying to make sure that the cape is nice like the cape is nicely fitted okay so i'm kind of drawing it in to make sure that the cape is nicely fitted if you haven't subscribed to this channel please make sure you subscribe hit the like button and Turn on your bell notifications so that you get notifications whenever I post new videos, okay? So I haven't done that. I'm going ahead to remove this. I've already traced it out, as you can see. So I'm going ahead to remove this. And I'll fold back my pattern now and start imputing my contour lines. I'll fold back my pattern and start imputing my contour lines to arrive at a very nice bustier, okay? So I'm drawing in my bust circumference like so. If you have if you don't know what bust circumference means please check my previous videos you will understand what bust circumference is all about so i'm going ahead to impute my bust circumference all the way around like i said i'm drawing very thick to make sure that this appears on the other side also if you have a tracing wheel you can use a tracing wheel for this to make your life easier but i can't leave my hand on a tracing wheel please this should be a perfect circle okay this is supposed to be a perfect circle please so make sure it's a perfect circle so i'm trying to make it hard just so it appears on the other side so i can also draw it in on that other side also I'm trying to give very much detail as possible because this very pattern is technical. This very design is actually technical. It looks simple on the picture, but it's not as simple as you think. It's actually very technical. So I'm trying to give all the details and explanation that I'm supposed to give. So now I'm drawing my princess, my, sorry, my sweetheart neckline. That very pink part of it, the deep pink. Yeah, that deep pink. That's what I'm drawing in now, okay? I don't want to use my bust circumference. It looks like it's low. So I'm using this very part as that deep pink for my sweetheart neckline. And I'm also going to be tracing it out on this very side. So this is what it looks like now. I'm also going to impute other contour guidelines. That of the neckline. And I'll be showing you that right away, like so. I'm whole, and that is it. Please do not get confused. I know a lot of things are happening here, but do not get confused. I'm also imputing my underboss contour guideline, and I'm going to be joining it like so. 
I have all these videos in my channel. If you haven't seen me done videos of uh, control guidelines, please check my previous videos. Check my previous Bustier videos. You're going to be seeing control guidelines well explained, please. But I also took my time to explain it in this very particular video. Just follow the steps of everything that I am doing. So this is what it looks like now. And same thing I've gone ahead to do on this side. And this is what it looks like, okay? So having done that now, I'm trying to make this line look... Right now, I feel like I'm an engineer. Like, what is happening? <laughs> you guys, I just hope you understand what I'm doing, okay? It's very self-explanatory. So this very line is my shoulder processing. Please do not get confused. This very line is my shoulder processing. These are all the lines you need. There isn't anything much. These are all the lines that you need. So I'm going to have to cut open my darts to start manipulating. Firstly, I'm supposed to cut my yes side bust darts, and that's what I'm going to be doing now. Cutting open my side bust darts. And I'm going to be closing all those contour guidelines and opening them at that side bust dart that I cut open, okay? Just follow what I'm doing closely, and you see everything. So I've, I've opened my shoulder princess him and closed it at that side bust that, okay? This is what it looks like. Same thing also I'll be doing to this other side, okay? So these are the patterns. I might have to tape some part of it down. So this whole part that I'm drawing down is going to be the light pink, Abby. The light pink, not the deep pink. It's going to be the light pink. Like everything from this cape is going to be the light pink. Just take a good look at the picture at the top of the screen. It's going to be the light pink. Everything, including the cape, the main bodies, is going to be the light pink. Then from that sweetheart princess seam is the baby pink. And the rest of it, like the yoke, is also the light pink. This is actually kind of complicated, but I'm going to be showing you everything here. So I'm cutting out the lower part of it, which is like the baby pink. I'm cutting it out where the cape actually started because we're going to be attaching the cape on it like so so i'm trying to use my cape to make sure that it's true do not worry it looks as if it's irregular but once you show it once you sew it and it comes back to the shape where you drafted this cape or structure design it's going to come back as nice so this is what the pattern looks like okay this is the lower part of it the upper part of it. Yes, I'm going to be taping it when I want to sew, okay? I'm going to be taping that very part when I want to sew, okay? So this is what it looks like. So I'm going to have to remove the yoke part, okay? I'm removing the yoke. And I'll be taping this whole yoke together to form a whole piece because of that light pink. As you can see, it was not joined. I'll be taping the whole yoke together. And this is the light, the deep pink area. These are the deep pink area. So heading over to the back, nothing much is happening at the back. There, there isn't anything much happening at the back. Just tape your sleeve to your bodies like we did to the front. And also draw out the shape of your structured design or your structured whatever. Because that structured design went into the back. I need to stop in at the side, center back, which is your zipper allowance area, okay? Stop in at the center back, which is your zipper allowance area. So I'm going to have to draw it in like so. Trying to give it a very nice shape for the cape, for the collar, whatever. I'm trying to give it a nice shape for the cape, the collar. So I'm going to have to trace it out. So this is what it looks like for the back. And I'm detaching my sleeve and setting that aside. So I'm going to have to cut open the darts. Remember the lower part is our light pink and the upper part is our deep pink. So I'm going to have to sew up like so. 
I marked my notches where necessary. Like you want to mark everything on the paper. You want to mark every significant thing from the paper to the fabric. So you understand because there are a whole lot of pieces. As I'm showing now, I'm looking at my pattern. I have to keep my pattern in set. You want to set your pattern like the way it is. So as you're sewing, you know which you should join to which and which should come first, okay? So keep your pattern in place. So I went ahead to sew this up first. And I'm looking at my pattern now. And this should also come. And I'll go ahead to sew this also. So this is what it looks like. As you can see, we're getting gradually. This is what it looks like. So I'll get the light pink area and sew it on top like yoke. Okay. I'll get the light pink and sew it on top like a yoke. So I'll go ahead to sew up the other side also. So that's what it looks like. Like this is what we're having now. Okay. You want to go ahead and give this a nice press. So this is what it looks like. This is what we're having now. Then I went ahead to sew the lower part of it, okay? Like I said, please make sure your pattern is set. Like you set your pattern. And from what you set, you know that which you come first, which you're going to be joining to which for the fabric, okay? And mark your notches from the pattern to the fabric when necessary. So this is what it looks like. And I'll go ahead to attach that very cape to this part. Also, I've marked my notch on my cape, okay? I marked the center, the part which you join from the armhole. And that is what I'm checking now trying to align everything together. You want to mark your notches, like I said. Make sure you mark notches from your pattern to your fabric. It's going to make your work a whole lot easier. Try to make sure that this whole thing is nice and well laid. Do not worry about that, it's just Lead to excess, so I'll go ahead to attach this to this place, like so. Also, from my cape, I've already marked my notch to know where it should fit into the um, beginning of the armhole area. So that's what I'm using now as my guideline to sew all the way around. So this is what we're having. This is what it looks like. I'll go ahead to show you properly what I was able to achieve. This is it. This is what it looks like. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to this channel for more videos coming up. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.